What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today is July 1st, so we're gonna be talking about the statues I got during the month of June and what we can expect during the month of July. So June was an extremely slow month for me. I actually only got three statues and, I mean, really only two statues and some props, two props. So it was definitely a very slow month for me. It just felt like a drag and Frankly, I hate June. It's the worst month of the year. It's super, super hot. Everything's slow. And I, I just hate the month, to be honest. I went to California. I hate California. So hopefully July can pick up. August is when I start to like things uh, a lot better. Uh, so July is not too much better than June. So hopefully things start to pick up. Uh, but I want to talk, talk about uh, the statues I got and what we can hopefully expect during the month of July. So, Alexa, turn on theater home theater room statue lights. Uh, in this room, I only got one item, uh, something that took forever, but I finally got it. And I'm happy I got it. Uh, the Queen Joker mask. So this was better than what I expected. It does look great here in the magic case. I'm not 100% certain I'm going to keep these magic cases here. I have considered putting them right there, although these are quite a bit deeper than that, and so, you know, it would extend out to right there, so I don't know if I'll do that, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I may not do it, may just keep the Maji cases here, but I do like this Joker mask. I think it's quite good. Uh, it is overpriced by about 50 bucks, in my opinion, but I do like it. Also, check out ECC Jason next to Cinema Cat can see just how beastly Jason is. He truly is a beast of a statue. Alexa, turn on movie statue room lights. All right, so in here we got two items as well. Uh, we finally got the Queen Loki mask, or Loki helmet. <laughs> uh, this thing is awesome. It's better than I expected. It definitely improves the overall look of the display, adds a lot of presence. I'm very, very happy I finally got it for my seller. Wolverine, he did not help me as of yet. Uh, I've sent Wolverine off for repairs. I'll keep you guys posted on Wolverine. Uh, I'll upload a video Friday on the seller if he has not paid me the promised $500 he said he'd give me, which doesn't even cover repairs. Uh, my favorite statue I received the, during the month was of course Queen Studios Iron Man Mark 50 Battle Damage Bust. This bust uh, came, uh, I. It came as expected. I expected it to have huge presence and impeccable paint job, you know, just like very vibrant looking. It's the most vibrant Iron Man I've ever seen. You know, I always thought Iron Studios was very vibrant and looked great, and they do look great, but Queen definitely took it to the next level when it comes to just that vibrant uh, color and the battle damage is awesome. The presence, it's just a huge, heavy bust and it looks amazing in the collection. I'm very, very happy with it. Definitely the best piece I got in the collection during the month of June. I waited a very, very long time for this, but Spec Fiction came through. Uh, we got it in and I'm very happy to own it. So very, very cool bust. Uh, for me, it's still the best Iron Man bust to date that's been released, but I do think the Mark VII will top this when I inevitably get that. Did want to show you the four horse statues next to each other. Uh, I really want to do all my whore one-thirds next to each other, minus uh, Marcus and Lycan there in their own little display. But I really like how this looks. Uh, it just looks really epic. Of course, we would add Jason and Ash to this, and then eventually uh, maybe Leatherface, Ghostface, we'll see. But I really am digging how this looks. Of course, I love them next to their busts as well. So I'm, I'm going to be figuring that out. Uh, when I get my display case in tomorrow, what, what I like best. And we only got one other piece during the month. Alexa, turn on video game statue room lights. I was expecting a lot more, to be honest, uh, during the month of June, but a lot of things just never came in. Uh, the other item, my second favorite, was MRC's Vegeta 1-4 scale. Uh, this is the prototype, of course. This is an amazing statue. The light up head was better than I expected. It's just an overall beautiful statue and I'm very happy to own it. And it's definitely not gonna be leaving my collection anytime soon. So that is what we got during the month. Now what we're expected in July, of course, 
any of these statues I'm about to mention can be delayed, can just not arrive. Some might arrive three months from now, but I am hopefully anticipating getting these particular statues during the month of July. So we are for sure going to get Reborn Frieza. This is, uh, the shipping has been taking longer than expected, but uh, I'm very excited to get this, although 99.9% .9 chance I will be selling it to get KD Frieza or Prime 1 Frieza or Tasume Frieza, because all three are making one and I'm gonna get the best one out there. But I still may stick to KD, just because I have KD Cell, KD Boo, and I'd love to have all three villains from the same company with the same underbases. And so I'll likely get KD and just pass on Tasume and Prime 1. And KDs will also be cheaper and come out much sooner. Prime 1 would be three to four years, same with Tasume, and I'm not waiting that. Uh, so that uh, will, you know, arrive for sure during this month. Uh, and then I know Transcendent Studio Androids is shipping soon, but that will take at least a month and a half to ship. I'll do economy shipping on that. Uh, it's just been too expensive to do, you know, express shipping. So that won't arrive anytime soon. I know KD Goku is prepped for shipping, but that will definitely take at least a month to arrive. So that won't arrive till probably August. So that's not going to be in this month's list. And that is likely all we're going to get in the collection in this uh, side of the room. Uh, we should likely be getting Black Hand in the collection. Uh, now, my retailer said June arrival. June is over. Still haven't gotten that email. It's ready. But I'm certain it's going to arrive any day now. And then uh, it's going to be shipped express. And so that one should arrive during the month of July. And I think that will definitely be one of the better pieces I get during the month. So very excited to get that. And it does finish my Warcraft line. That was the only other one I really wanted from the movie uh, Warcraft. Uh, I did enjoy Black Hand's overall character in the movie. I think the statue just looks awesome. And it's, you know, Golden's right-hand man. So it's just going to look really good in the collection. So we're waiting on Black Hand, but he should arrive during this month. Alexa, turn off video game statue room lights. Uh, we should be, uh, in essence, completing this room. Uh, so we're just waiting on one statue, unless I decide to do garage shelves and change this whole room up, but we're waiting on Drift. He shipped, he should arrive during the month of July, most likely, but it might be early part of August. Uh, We'll see. I'm hoping I get it towards the end of July, but Drift, uh, Shipped, Economy, really looking forward to getting him. Once I get him, the room will look complete. The only thing that may change is if I decide to go the garage shelving route, which I'm still not sure. The only reason I will go garage shelving is it would allow me to have space to get Jetwing Optimus Prime. But to be honest, I don't even know if I'll be in this house in two to three years, you know, especially if some stocks pan out and I'm super wealthy and I move to a new house, then it'll all be for nothing. So I don't think I will change this for garage shelving, uh, at least for two years. You know, if I'm still here and, and I really, really want to get it and I have the money and the means and everything, then I would change it at that point. But for now, we're just going to get drift, consider this room done. And then if things change, we'll, you know, we'll see. But for now, Drift from Transformers 5. Now, Sideshow still has Darth Vader set to ship. Uh, he's been delayed. I don't know when he'll arrive, but hopefully he'll arrive during the month of July. So Darth Vader life-size bust. My Caesar life-size bust has shipped. I don't know how long it will take for me to get this, but I'm hoping it's about three to four weeks. So towards the end of July, I do expect my Caesar Silicone life-size bus to arrive. Very excited to get that one. And then we should be getting the 1.6 Raptor. That should arrive any day now from Prime One Studios. Very much looking forward to that. That's definitely an arrival during the month. And potentially the Rotunda T-Rex. I got tracking like week and a half, two weeks ago. It usually takes a month and a half to arrive, sometimes a month. Uh, but that one's in three ginormous boxes. Very excited. It's going to be the centerpiece to my Jurassic display. And I feel like it will just be the absolute best Jurassic uh, 
park statue out there. So I'm very excited for that one. Uh, hopefully it does arrive during the month of July. If not, first part of August, it should be arriving. And then hopefully we'll get back the Wolverine bus and I can do a full review and unboxing of that guy once he's uh, all fixed up. Uh, we should be getting custom Lerps busts. Uh, I believe, you know, he's about to ship any day now and it's coming from Europe. I don't know how long shipping will take, but generally Europe shipping is quicker than like from, you know, China or somewhere else. So I think I'll get Lurts bus during the month. I think he'll probably be the best piece I get unless Rotunda comes, but I, I'm very excited for Lurts bus. He's just going to turn out absolutely amazing. Mine is being upgraded. It's like Lurts 2.0 from this uh, custom statue bus creator. So I'm very excited to get Lurts bus. Uh, we potentially could get... Iron Studios, Fell Beast, and Cave Troll. These are both delayed, but shipping is July to August. Uh, I know they released in China. They're probably just been on a boat, and boats seem to be taking extra long during the summer months at Phil's. But I think they're between July and August. Fell Beast 120th and Cave Troll 110th from uh, Iron Studios. So that is what will arrive in here. We're definitely not going to get Mosasaurus for another probably year. Uh, I went through that. I foolishly made the order through the retailer who takes 80 billion years to order it. Ugh, I instantly regret that. I should just wait listed on Prime 1. I wanted to secure the exclusive. That was my problem. So we're definitely not getting Shazam anytime soon. That's at least six months out. So I'm honestly just considering I just got scammed and I'm never getting it. So... I, I did get my money back, uh, not the deposit, but I got the normal money back. And I told the retailer, if he ever gets it, that I'll pay it off when he ships it in 82 years. So I don't expect Shazam this year, for sure. Even though it's been released since November last year, I don't expect it this year. So not even going to consider him. I've actually even just removed him from my pre-order list on my phone. He's I, I basically got scammed. Uh, but... I do know Nunbust will be ready to ship during this month, but she definitely won't arrive during this month. She's going to be an August statue, but very much looking forward to getting Nunbust, placing her next to Pennywise. I think they're going to pair just amazing together, and then having Annabelle underneath. And then let me just think if anything else is coming. I believe that's it. Uh, no Prime 1 statues uh, from Prime 1 director shipping anytime soon. The Joker, one-third, I don't think that will ship uh, for another few months. And, yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for the month of July. Uh, I am going to be searching to buy a few statues. Uh, if anyone is selling Elite Creature Collectible Cinema Cat Drake from Blade 3 Life-Size Bust... Uh, I am on the hunt now to buy that to pair it with my Reaper bust as a, you know, a bust pair. So anyone that's selling this, please contact me. I have funds available to buy it immediately. Uh, I know it's limited to 300 worldwide. I generally see it going on eBay every now and then, usually priced between $1,000 to $1,500. So that's the price range I'm going to be, you know, paying uh, that I'll expect to pay between that range. So if anyone is selling, please message me on Instagram, Flankster117, and I will buy that off you immediately. Uh, that is the one piece I'm getting uh, that I'm hunting this month. The other piece that I'm for sure getting, obviously, is the Annabelle doll from Trick or Treat Studios. Uh, I had initially kind of planned to display it next to the Nun Bust, but I'm really thinking that Nun Bust next to Pennywise Bust would be better, and then doing Annabelle underneath because she's super big. And she would look just fantastic filling up that display very nicely. So we'll probably uh, just do Annabelle like that. Uh, we'll see though. I need to see how Nun Bust looks down low, up high, next to Pennywise Bust. But we are definitely getting Annabelle in. I do want Annabelle, especially since I'm getting Nun. Uh, so we'll get her in the collection. She should arrive any day now. She's already, uh, you know, I have tracking and it's it'll get here very, very soon. But I believe that is pretty much it. Uh, Big Chap, he, he's he been delayed, and even if he ships, I won't get him for a month and a half. So uh, he's probably a few months out. I know they said they had some QC issues, but we'll get Big Chap in eventually. You know, Dog Alien was delayed like 10 times. I just bought Dog when he was released, so I didn't 
feel the pain of all the delays were big chap. I am feeling those pains. But yeah, that is what's going to arrive. Don't got anything else really coming in. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what statues you got.